Okay, here's the notes for the first part. Uh, I didn't I didn't provide you this worksheet, but just uh, copy copy the directions here on a separate piece of paper. Hopefully, you have a notebook there, and then you know just cop copy the circle here. Okay, we're being asked to find the circumference. Um, find the circumference. All right, for circumference, we're going to use a one of one of two formulas. There's two formulas. We're going to use this one. C is equal to two pi r. Right, we're going to use this formula, but I just want to make sure that you're also aware that there's another one that you might see out there. It's C is equal to pi times d. Okay, where d is the diameter here, r is the radius. R stands for the radius here, d stands for diameter. The reason why they're the same is that two radius, if you have two radius, it's equivalent to one diameter. But I want to use this one because for the other set of problems, they're using the 2 pi r. So we're going to stick with this one. All right. And then we're going to leave our answers in, uh, in two different forms. Another thing, too, is pi. Pi, uh, you have this pi in your calculator, which you will be needing to use your calculator to find the value of pi. If you are not familiar with pi or you want to just double check, we know that pi is approximately 3.14. Write this value of pi, 3.14. Okay, so here we go with the first one, number one. Copy it down. Okay, number one. Number one here. Make sure that we have, I mean, honestly, the only information you need is the radius, right? And this one is a radius. Remember from the center to any of the edge, that's the radius. So that's my R. I know my radius is 8 meters. Okay, so circumference is equal to 2 times pi times R. So that's going to be 2 times pi times what? 8, eight meters. Okay, so here our circumference is what? Well, it's going to be 2 times 8, 16 pi, and then meters. It does, don't worry about the units. It could sometimes be inches or feet or miles. Maybe this is miles. Oh, no, miles is mi. This is one form of the answer if you leave it with the pi. But if you leave it in the other form and we multiply, uh, oh, and it does say, Use your calculator's value of pi. So round your answers to the nearest tenth. And if you do that, which means it's going to be 16 times your value of pi, which is 3.14 something, something, something. It's going to be a little more in your calculator. Uh, the answer is going to be C is equal to 50.3. Right, you round it off meters. So this is the answer with the pi on it, but it's the same as if you multiply the pi, 16 times the value of pi, you get that. Okay, very simple formula. Okay, number two. Copy that one, and we'll do it again real quick. All right, what's the good thing about number two? They are, again, the radius is already there. We know that the radius is 4.6, in this case, inches. So, really easy. C is equal to 2 pi r, which is going to be 2 times pi times the radius is 4.6 inches, which is going to be um, 2 times 4.6 is 9.2, right? Get a calculator. It's going to be 9.2 pi inches. This is the answer when you have it multiplied the pi it. This is one form of the answer for the circumference. But when I multiply the 9.2 and the value of pi in your calculator, I just push the button. It's 3.14. And when you do actually do this and get the exact value, you're going to get 28.9 inches. That's the circumference. 
All right, that was pretty easy. And how they're going to trick you to make it a little bit difficult is uh, now look at number three. Again, remember if you want to pause it or go back and rewind. And Okay, number three. What's the difference here? They're not giving you, see, this is the diameter. This is the diameter. Notice the difference. You've got to look at the picture. When it's like this, it's a radius. This is a diameter. So if this is 16, then the radius would have to be 8 and 8, right? Half of it, right? Because it's it, you divide it by 2. So I know the radius is 8. So that'll be, what's the formula again? C is equal to 2 pi r. 8 what? 8 feet. So that'll be 2 times pi times 8 feet. So here the circumference is 16 pi feet. But they want you to use the calculator and put the value of pi. So when you do the 16 times that 3.14 button for pi, okay, you're going to get circumference is, oh, it's also 50.3. Okay, and last one right here. Well, what if this is like a decimal, 19.6? Okay, copy it down. Well, that's the diameter. Remember, that's not the radius. You've got to be careful. So that would be 9.8. The radius is 9.8. We're going to use that. R is equal to 9.8. Make sure they're giving you. If they don't give you the radius, you've got to find it, right? Take half of that. It'll be 9.8. That's the radius. Okay. Formula is C is equal to 2 pi R. That's going to be 2 times pi times R is what? 9.8 oh, feet again. So that's going to be, multiply the numbers, 9.8 times 2, well, is 19.6, 19.6 pi feet. This is one form of the answer with the pi, right, with pi, but they want us to multiply and do 19.6 times, right, use that button on your calculator, pi, 3.14. So you should get for this one. The circumference is 61.6 feet. Okay, this one's pretty easy. The second one, the next part of the assignment is going to be a little bit more work. All right, this one should be easy. Good job. Take care of this for circumference.